What up, gang? I'm fight with another video. I say I'm fight with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Yes, I said subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Yo, Magic, literally, I'm like, oh, Boba, you guys think he died from a drug overdose. You're wrong. You're wrong. Literally, you're wrong. So suck a dick. Okay? Suck a dick. There's a lot of shit. Y'all don't know that I fucking breathe. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Let's get straight into it, man. Your boy Juice Real, his girlfriend at the time, Ali, she been going viral the past couple of days, man. First, she went viral because she let her new boyfriend that's 18 years old wear a Juice Real Rolex. He took a picture with it, with Juice Real Rolex on. It went viral. Fans was upset. A lot of people saying, man, she's very disrespectful. There's no way that she should be letting her new boyfriend, and he's a kid, for real, for real, wear a Juice World watch. Most likely, he's a fan, too. You know what I'm saying? After that went down, a couple of days later, she came back to the internet, and she shocked the internet again, man. She shocked the internet again. She say Juice World did not die. From an overdose, that's a secret she been holding in. Um, she's saying a lot, man. As y'all know, Juice World plane was stopped. He was on a private plane, and it was, you know, told to police that he had weed and drugs on the plane. You know what I'm saying? I think the pilot called the police because they, because they were smoking weed or smelled like weed. But they did find uh, pounds of weed on the plane. Allegedly, when the police came to in, uh, enter the plane, allegedly, Juice Rail swallowed some pills. Instead of just going down for the pills, he swallowed the pills, allegedly, and he died from an overdose. Now she's saying that is not true. That's not what happened. We do not have no idea. And she's saying she's been keeping it a secret for a long time. She also went on Twitter and she was getting her Twitter fingers on game. Let's check out some of the things that she was saying on Twitter, man. Um, even his close friends were saying like, hey, they was trying to warn Juice Real about her. But, you know, when you in love with somebody, you cannot... Um, change someone's mind about a person you know if they want to be with that person they're going to be with that person and like uh juice real friends say he was trying they was trying to tell juice real that she's not the person for you but he wouldn't listen he gets mad and he was cutting them off like i said man when someone's with someone you cannot tell them who for them and who's not man because they're stuck in their own matrix in their own trans of that person at that time you have to let that person make their own mistakes and learn from their mistakes to really realize and see so you know what i'm saying um i'm also read them tweets about what juice real friend was saying but um let's get into it she said y'all didn't give two fucks so sit down Till I'm bored and we'll give you the time of day to address the dumbass lies and drama you want me to be in so badly. Like I'm not the one who was left for dead and everyone wish on that shit. Like I made it through years of loneliness left here. She say I'll talk when I feel like it but know this Jay loved everything I am now and whatever you think before y'all act like I wasn't dancing for fun. When I met him, I got all my tax still shit. Y'all claim is dumb. And from forever ago, I own all things Jay gave me. And was like this for Jay all day. She said, I made it very clear to everyone around us that help was needed. And I was not in charge of helping him. Or I yet was the only one stepping up doing what I could. Y'all see mismatched clips of our life. 
but don't even know the real shit. J Hat Management and fam, stop coming my way. Y'all wild for years. I was the only one holding J down. Why y'all believe lies and not a soul checked in. Fam, y'all ain't even let me have him wild. And after he passed for years. It's been years. I even let y'all agree before myself. J knew. Know how I am. Y'all just didn't. Make up lies again. Chill. Now, you know, she's she probably got a lot on her mind. She's all over the place, you know. Reading that make me feel even more confused. But uh she basically saying that, you know, she was a hundred percent for Juice Real. Uh Juice Real loved her and everything about her. We only seen snippets of their life and a lot of people claim that, you know, she was bad for Juice, but Juice loved her and she was the only one that's really trying that was really trying to get him help. She let everybody know he needed help and nobody did anything but her. She only did what she could. She stepped up when she needed to. So hey. Listen, man. A lot of people I ain't gonna say blame her, but they feel like she was weird. They feel like, you know, Juice World would have probably been in a better situation. But I'm not gonna lie, man. I seen interviews, I even heard, you know, Lil Bibby talk about Juice. And um, I even heard her talk about him and, she, and something that she said. And she said, you know, she 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 begged him to stop popping pills and, and stuff like that. But his response was he was going through so much trauma. So much trauma. That that's the only way he felt better. And... I remember one story she said, she said they was in the shower, and she said he was so messed up on the pills, but she was just crying, and she said something to him, like, she was thinking, like, he may die from this shit, and she didn't say it, but she just rubbed his back, and just was thinking it, and she said he turned around and said, it's going to be okay. He didn't see her emotions or nothing. She was in back of him. And she was just thinking like, man, this shit is crazy. Like, he may end his life on these pills. And he said, she said, she was just rubbing his back. And he turned around and told her it's going to be okay. Right after she thought that. So, um, that situation, man, I'm not blaming her for whatever Juice World was doing. I can't because, man, when you dealing with people that's addicted to drugs, whether it's hard drugs or pharmaceutical drugs, those people will not kick what they're going through until they're ready, man. Until they're ready and sometimes they never become ready or get ready or feel like they ready to kick it. So I can never, you know, blame her for whatever addictions Juice had. Um, if that's really Juice Real Watch, I do feel like, dang, you know what I'm saying? If that's Juice Watch, that's supposed to be sacred to you. There's no way a boyfriend should be able to have something so precious, something so sacred. There's no way that he should be in possession of something so special. That should always be something that's special to your heart and sacred, you know what I'm saying, and protected from different energies. energies. 
So, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's crazy. But she can do what she want to. You know what I'm saying? It's hers now. But I'm just saying, if, if Juice meant that much to her, I don't see how she allow herself to let her new boyfriend that she just got with, you know, have that in his possessions. Another thing, she said, Juice didn't die from an overdose. You know, she said she been holding it in. Um, I don't know if she just tripping out. You know, I don't know if she's under the influence. I don't know what. But autopsy said he died from an overdose. So maybe she knows something that we don't know. But y'all get in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Listen, if you guys want promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. Music101ceo. I'm doing $20 promo. For $20, you will get one video promoted on my YouTube channel. For $40, I will promote three videos for you in my YouTube channel. $60, I'll promote six videos for you in my YouTube channel. And $120, I will promote 12 videos for you on my YouTube channel. You need YouTube promo? You trying to get your business up? You trying to run your numbers up? Hit me up at Music 101 CEO. Hey, you don't want to miss it. The results is great.